all the over ramps going to the strip were closed down. Here we are at Tropicana and Dean Martin. People are waiting for the road to open up, the overpass to get back on the strip. It would probably be hours and hours and hours. This is approximately 1 a.m. in the morning. The night of October 1st, going into the early morning hours of the 2nd. So I decided to drive around and see just how many exits and how many roads were shut down. And they, had, they pretty much had every road shut down going into the Strip except for one. And that was by Treasure Island. The road between Treasure Island and Fashion Show Mall was completely clear. So I went in there and I turned right and there I was on the Strip. So I'm going to show you the Strip on October 1st that night. As you can see, there's hardly anybody walking on the strip, and the police were everywhere. So take a ride with me as we go down the strip and see how far we can make it before the roadblock will stop us. Now, I would say that this is approximately 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m. in the morning of October 2nd. Here we are. There's Harris on the left. Just nobody out there. Taxi drivers, I guess, were giving free taxi drive rides. But they pretty much wanted everybody off the strip. I mean, almost every exit was blocked off. Caesar's Palace on the right here. This is where the fountains would be on the right. The links on the left. Now, there was no way you were going to be able to pull into any of these casinos. The, the security from the casinos had all the roads blocked off going into the casino. So, you just were not going to be able to get on the casino. You were not going to be able to park or go to ballet or anything because they blocked off the entrance of every casino from Circus Circus all the way down to Mandalay Bay. is on the right. The Paris is on the left. Now look there on the right. That would be where the fountains are. Now normally you would have probably up to a thousand people out there watching the fountains every night. I mean, look at it. You, there's nobody there. This is Sunday night. October 1st, 2017. 
going into Monday more early hours of Monday morning, October 2nd, and there's very few people out in front of the fountain, and probably the fountains are not even on. Yes, you can, uh, because all the, the whole place is shut down. Nobody's going to go in or out, so yes, I'm pretty sure the fountains were, were shut down. driving by city center city center that 10 billion dollar project now we're heading towards the new york new york So we're getting closer and closer, Monte Carlo there, we just passed it, and here is New York, New York. And as you can see by the lights, we're not going any farther. I guess I could have pulled up there, but it would not have been a smart idea. Probably would have been pulled over, and who knows, you know, it's not worth the hassle. So New York, New York was about as far as it was to safely go without any hassle. And now we're just going to make a U-turn and head back where we came from. There were some little stampedes in New York, New York, I hear. Some the people were panicking. Now, as we pan the camera over here to the left side by Hard Rock, you'll notice that nobody there on the, nobody there on the sidewalk. Now, normally, at this time of the night, at this hour, there'd be hundreds and hundreds of people out there walking on the strip. So we're coming to an end of our trip up and down the Strip on October 1st. We started somewhere around Treasure Island, went down to New York, New York, made a U-turn, and now we're heading to Circus Circus. Here we are. If you look over there at the Mirage, the security, uh, the security has the trucks blocking the road into the Mirage. Same thing over here at the Venetian. As you can see, they got the entranceway blocked off to the casinos so now we're coming to the end we're heading down towards circus circus and they even had the entrance to the circus circus closed off remember all the casinos were locked down see right there the entrance blocked off so i do not believe that they were letting anybody into the casinos it was a lockdown the lockdown, I do not know how long it lasted, probably lasted to early in the morning. And here we are going, we're closing the trip off, driving by UMC. This is where they brought the worst of the worst. 
trauma center here at UMC, it was blocked off too. It was on lockdown. By two or three in the morning, they had this all yellow taped off and nobody was going to get in and out except for emergency room doctors, hospital personnel. So I hope you've enjoyed this trip down the strip on the night of October 1st.